Hey there, Glenn with the Toy Temple, and today uh, we're gonna check out what I got for GameStop clearance. Uh, through Memorial Day, they were running 50% off clearance, so a discount on top of another discount means I picked up quite a bit of stuff. Uh, so we got some Zelda, we got some Marvel Legends, we got some Pokemon, and some X-Men stuff. Let's check it out. Starting off first, uh, the two keychains I picked up. One's X-Men related. I like this one. I don't know. It's, uh, it's neat. I like keychains. I like X-Men. Seems like a slam dunk. Uh, moving on to the blind bag. I don't know what's in this, so if you care to join me, we'll find out. And it is Link. Cool. We got Link. Next up on the list is Thunderbolt Pikachu from the gallery figures. Uh, it's a pretty much a display piece. Let's open this thing up and uh, get a closer look. Now I really like how this looks. Uh, it doesn't have any articulation or anything. It's not like, it's not poseable. Uh, the lightning looks good. Um, I like the face of determination Pikachu's kind of showing off here. Uh, the tail is stationary. The thunder looks awesome. Stands up. It's definitely not, you know, off balance or anything, so it's not going to fall over. It'll pair really well if you have the uh, red Nindroid, which we do have. So that's where it's going to go. And not really much else to say. If you're looking for Nintendo action scenes, uh, this is definitely one to pick up. And finally, we have Enchantress from the Dormammu Marvel Legends series. And you can tell that this thing has been on clearance for quite some time. The initial price sticker probably said $22.99. And then one, two, three yellow stickers that say, get her out of here. So 50% off $6.97, paid about $3.50. So it's definitely the cheapest uh, that I've ever paid for a Marvel Legends action figure and it would have been nice to get it maybe a Doctor Strange but you know I'm not going to turn down a Marvel Legends action figure for three dollars fifty cents so let's take a closer look and here's Enchantress out of the package and for the first time ever on Hall of Toy Halls you'll probably notice that she's on a stand because this is the first time since maybe the first episode that I haven't actually been able to pose a character and uh I think in the comics she's able to stand. I haven't read a lot about her, but I'm fairly certain uh, she can walk on her own two feet, but this action figure cannot stand by itself. So, super disappointing. I'll probably have her lean up against some other, uh, other figures out there, and she'll probably do her best. I mean, she's a, she's a good looking figure. They did a lot of nice paint work on the legs. They gave her like a little uh, additional skirt right there. Uh, the arms are painted, I guess, to make it look like she's got some cloth there, but they just painted the arms green and moved on. Um, the face is nice. They gave her little magic hands. I don't know a lot about the character, but I'm pretty sure she can stand on her own two feet. It's these, I think it's the high heels. The high heels are just so tiny, and these action figures, they need a, a wider base, and these high heels they're not going to uh, give the support that the character needs to stand on her own. Uh, disappointing. But it was three, $3.50, so you can't be too mad. But if it was $20, i would be, uh, be furious. Plus, if I actually knew who the character was, I'd be even more mad. But thankfully, she can just lean up against... Uh, let's see, who do I got over there? She can lean up against Onslaught or Thanos and uh, be supported that way. So if you see her and she's $3.50, pick her up. Pretty much buy anything at $3.50, but if you see her at full price, hard pass. So yeah, uh, pretty good clearance haul. We obviously picked up some other stuff if you saw us on Instagram, at the Toy Temple, by the way. Same with Twitter. Um, Pikachu's nice, uh, Link, super nice. Enchantress, eh, but still very cheap. 
can't pass up that. I uh, did want to mention before we uh, signed off here that the X-Men keychain had a engraving on the back of it that I didn't point out earlier. It says Logan's Car Service, so I thought that was uh, pretty funny. And uh, with that, thanks for watching. Uh, like, share, subscribe as usual. And remember, you're never too old to enjoy the things you love.